Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On today's episode of General Hospital, Dex provides Michael with the weapons he needs to defeat Sunny, Trina, and Spencer start carrying out their plan, and Esm gathers the materials she needs for her most recent escape scheme. Liz provides Nicola's with a list of the supplies Esm will require over the next few weeks at Windermere. She then ascends to see if their pregnant prisoner is doing okay. When Laura arrives, Nicholas informs her it's not a good moment at the front door. She interrupts because she's sorry to hear that. Laura claims that when she visited Cyrus, he had details about their family to share with her. Laura queries what else she is unaware of and inquires as to what he did to enrage Spencer. Liz checks on Esme in the tower to see how she is doing. Esme begs Liz to assist her in leaving because she is afraid that Nicholas will kill her as soon as she delivers birth. Liz informs Esme that she is mistaken about both her and Nicholas. She makes a commitment to protect herself from harm. She listens to the infant's heartbeat and finds it to be robust. Esme believes there might be further issues that they are unaware of, she is reassured by Liz that women have been giving birth for all of recorded history. Liz realizes she actually does care about this child as a result of her concern, though. Esme claims that although she may not be innocent, the baby is, and she wishes to provide it with a better life than she did. Liz promises to check on everything, get her a picture of her child, and have Nicholas get an ultrasound machine. Liz departs. Laura muses downstairs that perhaps it wasn't the affair itself that disturbed Spencer, but rather who it was with. Liz emerges out of nowhere and claims she was unaware Laura was present. Laura recommends they get together shortly after Liz explains she's going to Brit's party. Liz is appreciated for coming by Nicholas. Laura begs Nicholas to tell her it's not Liz as she departs. Laura finds Nicholas' silence to be unbelievable. She complains that Spencer is upset because Liz has recently been in a vulnerable state and his family. She queries Finn about this. While Nicholas claims to, the relationship is finished, and he doesn't want this knowledge to endanger anyone else. Laura is still concerned about Spencer's reaction to this. Laura is told by Nicholas that Spencer will live and that he intends to leave Windermere once he is released from Victor's captivity. When Laura learns Victor has custody of Spencer and will stop at nothing to keep Spencer away from him, she is astounded. Nicholas cautions her to back off because Victor is stronger than she is. Laura urges him to let her know if he has any information. He claims he can't, and if she kills Victor, she'll kill him as well. She must leave Victor alone, he begs, or she will lose her son. Esn requests Demetrius' company as he serves her dinner inside the tower. As she takes in her candlelit supper, he lines up and stays by her side. He takes the supper away after she's finished without noticing Esm swiped a single match. On the dock, Michael and Dex meet. Dex tells him about Sonny's potential regrettable arrangement with the Pikeman security group. Assuming that they are paying Sonny to smuggle military weaponry, which is as illegal as it gets, Michael is aware of them. According to Dex, this agreement is attractive for Sonny, but extremely risky. Brad and Maxie are greeted by the arrival of Brit and Albrecht. Brit thanks Brad for the waiters and Maxie for making everything look amazing. When Austin runs into them, he informs Maxie that both he and his boss Brit think she looks amazing. Brad and Maxie break off to look for other surprises. Austin expresses to Brit in private his desire for her to change her mind about leaving everyone. Spencer and Trina connect on the deck. They start the evening with a selfie to upload, which they are hoping will irritate Esma. Spencer gives his uncle a hug as Sunny and Nina get there. Nana expresses her sorrow over Rory's passing to Trina. Trina inquires of Spencer what would happen if they are mistaken about Esma as Nana and Sunny enter. She wonders what if she isn't the murderer, as Ava and Ryan suspect, and the murderer is actually aboard this ship right now, someone they had never ever thought to look for. When he realizes Trina is cold, Spencer gives her his coat. Trina apologizes to him for telling him they weren't friends because it is untrue. She is appreciated, and he is aware that he injured Brit and several other people. According to Spencer, Brit and he have a lot of traits, such as pushing away people they really need. They finally start staring into each other's eyes and start to lean in for a kiss. 
Inside, Nana is grateful that Sunny is going out with her because this New Year's Eve is much more fun than their previous one. She doesn't need to thank him, he claims, because he enjoys going out with her. Brit has grown to be like a sister to Nina, and she simply wants to be there for her. Sunny informs her that Brit will have difficulties in the future. Nana regrets the loss of Nell, the fact that she never gets to see Wiley, and the possibility of losing Brit. Sunny is aware of the situation because he lost his father, doesn't see Michael or Wiley, and probably won't get to meet the newborn. She believes that by being with her, he is paying dearly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, G and H Update, and stay with us.